All right, guys. This is a follow-up to a video. If you remember back in November, I released a video called An Important Message to a School Friend's Mother. Well, I realized some more things about that because I, I looked into it and there's some more things that I didn't even mention. And this is going to get pretty heated, so if you don't like rant videos, and you've seen my rant videos, I recommend you pause it right now. And if you just, if you don't like what I'm going to be talking about, then don't want, I want to say, leave my channel, never come back if you, if you don't like it. Don't come to my channel. If you don't want to hear what I have to say, get out. Leave. I don't want you here if you're going to argue and start debates about nothing and you're just trying to trip me up and say something outrageous no get out because I got a lot of serious stuff to talk about today and this is going to be probably one of the most heated videos I think I've ever made because this is a problem that's not being dealt with it has been almost uh let me see it's this started about two years ago a little over two years ago now and it got worse throughout my senior year and I don't think it's gotten any better as of right now. Hopefully it did. And hopefully after my video. This person started. To do the right thing. But you aren't doing the right thing anyway. So if you value your reputation. I recommend. You not do this. Because you're going to be blasted. Here in this video. So you've been warned. Alright. So in the last video I said. That throughout my senior year, one of the kids in my class was just being ha hammered by her mother. Just her mother was just being, I mean, his mother, not her mother, his mother was just being a complete tyrant that had no social skills whatsoever. No social skills at all. And I don't know what it is that in 2021, because I made this video in 2020, and this has happened throughout 20. 19 and early 2020 throughout the quarantine because I remember this stuff was still happening that I was gonna gonna make a video back then Which was the last video and I probably would have made this video at that time that I made the last video So kind of interesting there, but anyways, that's not the wrong way of making this video I am tired of people That when I'm trying to call out someone for being a scumhead that rightly deserves to be called that and say, Joe Judge, my parenting style. Well, guess what? If you think that, get out. Get off my channel. Go watch someone else. Go watch some, uh, some just boring videos that nobody likes. Because I don't want you here. I don't want you here to be debating and trying to start an argument with me. I don't want that at all. I don't want that here. Keep that bullshit off of my channel right now. Get a, Get it off. Get it off right now because I don't want it here. I, I do not want any of that bullshit on my channel at all. So if you want it, well, guess what? You're not getting it here. All right. So leave. All right. Anyways, enough of that. I mean, this was basically an issue that I had during my senior year. And it was all because of the, it was because of a couple of people that thought they could get away with some bullshit as well. That is the horrible, you know, boneheaded moron. That, I'm going to say his name. The, bo the, the bone, my coding teacher that I had, that I, that I made many videos, the one that I tried to offer him and me drugs. Yeah, him as well. He did nothing. But this guy, he only made it worse. And I always told him, if you don't leave him alone, you're going to face some trouble as well. So you better be, you better be warned. And I stood up for him. And uh, got it for doing that. But you cannot expect. For me to have to be so aggravated that this stuff still happens. And then they make that excuse that don't judge me. Well, I'm not here to judge your parenting style. I'm here to judge your character. Because you don't mistreat your kids and say don't judge my Well, you're definitely mistreating your kids. And I can judge. I can, I can, I can, I'm entitled to my opinion. That doesn't mean that you have the right to just slam me for no reason. That, that, that gives you no right at all. No right at all. So if you think that, get off my channel. Leave. I don't want you here. So basically, uh, th th what the problem is is that she was for. I think it's like this military discipline. You know, if you if you if you know what that is, you, you probably heard 
that in the military they have this. I'm not going to mention what it is. You know, I don't want to go in, in that direction because I hate that stuff because it just brings a person down. I've seen it before. I've seen it many, many times. They teach you that at the school I was at for eight years from fifth fucking grade. You don't teach a kid that, and I'm going to mention that, and hopefully they see this video, and hopefully even the other one, my one of high school, they did it as well. <clears throat> and that is not what you should be doing. I'll tell you something. When I was in high school, it was a personal decision. You can't force someone to do that. You can't force someone to do that, even though you are an authority figure that's not helping you. You're not helping yourself. So if you if you think that's going to help you, then guess what? Leave me. Well, let me do my thing, and I'll let you do your thing. But if you're going to be a tyrant, and you constantly screw up and make mistakes, and, con well, not mistakes, you're doing it on purpose, and you say you said you made a mistake, but no, we have evidence that you did do this on purpose, then that makes it evident that you were definitely guilty of abusing your child. And this guy is 20 years old. He's not a child anymore. But you're still treating him like a child because he's 20. And hopefully he's doing well now, and hopefully he's happy that he doesn't deal with you. But you're not going to unleash that on your other two children. If you do, I'm going to be making more videos about this and trying to lock you up and throw away the key. Because you deserve to be in a jail cell, going off to prison for the rest of your life. And I'm pretty sure, this, I mean, Daniel Cameron would love to bury your ass underneath the prison system in the state of Kentucky. I'm pretty sure he'd love to do that because he's the Attorney General. And he's a good one at that. And I think that he would love to uh, bury your ass in the county jail and the prison system because you just what you deserve to be because you have committed many, many crimes against not only your son, but your daughter and your other son as well. And you probably cheated on your husband. That's why you don't have a husband. You adopted probably all of these children. You wanted children, and you just decided to treat them like pure hell. That is unacceptable. It is inexcusable, and it, there is no excuse for that. And I don't care what excuse you give me. Well, I, you know, I'm a parent. I can do whatever I want. Well, if you want to do whatever you want, maybe you want to go back to parenting school and find some other way to do it, and that's not working. I know you should discipline your kids, but this is not discipline. This is just trying to ruin this kid's life. And that's exactly what you're doing. You are exactly trying to ruin this kid's life. And I don't care how bad you feel about it, but if you're going to continue to sit here and say, Oh, you're, you're making, you're bullying me. Well, if I was bullying you, I'd be making, I'd be making threats, which I'm not. And the only threat is, is if you keep on doing this, you're going to go to jail. And that's what you're doing. You keep committing these crimes. If you do the crime, you got to do the time. And if that's the case, I mean, you're, you're destroying your own future. You are destroying your own future. You have done nothing. To help your son or your daughter. Your daughter's going is in your daughter is in the eleventh grade. She's been at this school since twenty seventeen. And probably still there now. I don't know. I don't have any evidence of that. But does that mean you're gonna start trying to get her find stuff to put her in as a punishment? Well guess what? I mean I have many more school videos of the meetings, but you Took away his phone. I don't know why he took away your phone, but some of just pieces of this puzzle uh, come together. And why you did that, because you, you didn't want him uh, reporting you. You didn't want him reporting you. His, you wouldn't want him report his own mother if she's doing something wrong. Hopefully you gave your that phone back to him, because if he wanted to, he could just snitch on you on another podcast. Because I recommend him doing that, because definitely... I would have called the lawman myself. And if you really think that that's going to do anything for you, well, guess what? You're lying. You're absolutely wrong. You are you are a clown. You have done nothing for your son. You have done nothing for your, like going on, your 16-year-old daughter. I'm about to be 17 on December 30th. And does that mean you're going to start 
doing that, well, guess what? If, 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 it's gonna be, if you're going to try to threaten me and threaten your son and threaten all of my inner circle, well, guess what? You're trying to ruin one of my guys life. You've done everything to hurt this kid. You programmed him not to go against his teachers if he, had, if he disagrees with something. You've done everything wrong. You have done so much damage to his life. You pulled him out of jobs that he was actually trying to work hard at. But you don't think that. You just make the excuse and say, oh, I'm a parent. Oh, I can just get away with everything. Me, me, me. Well, no, you can't get away with everything. If you do try to get away with everything, consequences are going to pay. So, yeah. All right. That's basically all I have for today. I mean, that's basically my rant. <clears throat> I mean, if that's the case, I mean, you're base. I mean, that's how it is. I mean, you're you're risking it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Next one will be the Google Meet Extravaganza uh, Saga. The uh, basically the why I had my camera and my muted. You're gonna hear the real reason of that. Guys, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See y'all later. Thanks for watching.